Welcome back everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2, where we left off last time we were about to head back to Moira and let her know that we have subdued this district at least a little bit. I don't know if you can hear my dog barking, but he is barking up a storm today, so if you can hear him, just ignore him. He's fine. Let's go talk to her about her uh, missing gold as well, probably, because we took 500 gold from her. I hear you took care of things at the docks, and I like what else I'm hearing. I got men crawling to me, begging to work for me, just to make sure you don't visit them. As for the way you handled the watch, I think you made them more agreeable to my future requests. I've helped you. Now help me get into the Black Lake District. You still want to get into Black Lake? I may control the docks, but get you into Black Lake? No. Not yet. You see, even with your success at the docks, the watch still has fools who just aren't listening. So I want you to send one last message to the watch. Headquarters. I want you to burn it down and make sure no one gets out. With pleasure. If they don't get it already, they will when I'm through with them. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. So I leave the details to you, but I want that structure burned to the ground. I do this, and you better get me into Black Lake. Don't threaten me. Do what I tell you, and you'll be rewarded. Now, I have things of my own to attend to. Do not return until that building is ash. I'll work on that. Let's go see what we can do about burning down a watch headquarters. That is a little bit evil. Also, hopefully we can find that wolf. I looked into it a little bit for one of the side quests that we are supposed to be doing. And uh, apparently there is a way. He's supposed to respawn after the bladeling attack. Uh, so we'll take a look in the alley where he is supposed to be. And with any luck, he'll be there. We can pick up that quest as well because it is a pretty cool quest and I would like to do it. We already had one bugged quest in the game, so... Oh, there he is. Walked right by him. There's a wounded wolf here. This is what we were looking for before. This looks like a wolf. It seems to have somehow wandered into town. Its fur is matted with blood. That animal. It's not a wolf. It's a druid. Badly wounded. Can you help it? I will see. Thank you for allowing me to treat this one. The blood is so thick. I can barely make out all the wounds. Are, are you from the circle? The circle of the mirror, yes, but this is far from the lands we tend, and how did you come to be wounded? It is far from my lands. I am a messenger, only from the circle of swords of Neverwinter Wood, sent to find one of the circle of the mirror. And how did you come to be here? I picked up your scent, the scent of maiden's glade outside the city walls, and against my instincts I tried to come and find you. You didn't think maybe turning into a non-animal was a better idea? In my animal form, I was wounded by the city guard, no kidding, and left here. I barely had the will to heal my own wounds or even shift out of this form. Left any longer and I would be dead now. It is a strange thing, but as we came closer to the mirror, it becomes more and more difficult to shape, or to shift from beast to human and back again. And why would you have trouble changing shape? My fear is that it is tied to the land, and if that is true, whatever comes from the mirror, it comes for Neverwinter Wood as well. I thought it was the circle of the mirror, or I thought it was my thought that the Circle of Mir would know more of what strikes at us. I hoped to find Vashna, or Naven of the Mir, but you are the only one who I have been able to find. We found another in the Maiden's Glade, Khalil, and he said he said that the Circle of the Mir was lost. But you would know it to be true or not. How is it you do not know the fate of your own circle? I have been away for some time, and speaking with the elders, it has been over a year since we were in the same place. As for the troubles in the land, we suspect it may be tied to this one I am traveling with and... And these shards that I am carrying. Shards? I fail to see how one could affect the other, but I'm not of the elders of our circle. I will keep hunting for others of the mirror as ordered. Know that the druids of Neverwinter Wood have been forced to retreat slowly from their tended lands. If you would speak to them, travel to the sky mirror and use its powers to contact them. Unless something has happened, you should be able to reach them. Where is it? It's not far from Neverwinter. But you will need me to guide you. It is impossible to find the path without one of the mirror to guide you. We'll go there when we can. Thank you for saving me, Eleni of the mirror, and the one you travel with. With my wounds tended, I may continue my journey far from this city. Farewell. I travel to the sky mirror. Tell the elders of the Circle of Swords what you know. There we go. We have a new quest to do, and we got some experience. We're getting there. We will one day be an awesome Red Dragon Disciple, we Red Dragon Disciple Weapon Master. Let's go take a look at burning this place to the ground. There is a wagon over there. 
We could probably set it on fire, I'm guessing. I'm not really guessing, because I think I've done this quest well, a long time ago, but still. Is he going to put out the fire? He better not. Aha! Boxes! I like how the watch doesn't seem to care that we're burning this place to the ground. They're just like, eh. Price of doing business in the docks, I guess. I wish the camera angles would stop screwing up. Okay, we have three things on fire. Maybe that watchman technically put it out? I don't- Ah, oh, this camera angle is bugging the crap out of me. Maybe we can just make them go away. Are we missing something here? I guess we could try to go inside. Maybe there's something inside we have to set on fire too. You've got nerve, I'll give you that. Here to confess your crimes? You need to get out of here, this building's on fire. Fire? What have you done? War has gone too far this time. There's no time for this. Get everyone out before it spreads. Pretty convenient, you showing up right when there's a fire. If I find out you had anything to do with this. There's no time for this. The flames are qu traveling quickly. They will eat through the timbers of this building faster than you think. Get the prisoners out of here, Roe. Keep it orderly. I'll make sure the rest of the men get to safety. I better get going. For what it's worth, thank you for the warning. But this doesn't change a thing. The watch tells its eyes on you. And we burnt the building to the ground. We don't really want to kill everybody. That's not very lawful. Actually, we're not really lawful either, but that's okay. The building is in... bad shape. It's definitely seen better days. We burnt it to the ground just a little bit. And we're gonna go turn this quest in and see how they feel about it. My group formation changes regularly. It's kind of weird. I'm not really sure what uh, informs its decision to change. Oh well. Let's go talk to Moira. Moira, come here. I saw the smoke and heard many loyal watchmen are dead, burned alive in the fire, and that any survived will soon be knocking at my door, eager to make peace and pay respect to the one who truly runs the docks. Now will you get me into Black Lake? No, because I've been ordered not to. I could slip you in, but I have specific orders that my organization must abide by the lockdown of the district. So you take orders from somebody else. As much as it pains me to admit that, yes. Though I run the day-to-day -day operations in the docks, I did not found this operation. Axel de Vry is the one you seek. He oversees our operations. He fancies himself the leader of our organization due to the resources that he's invested. However distasteful I find it, though, he runs things, and I am not so foolish as to cross him once a direct order has been given. Where is he? A meeting has already been arranged. Your deeds in this district have attracted his attention, and he wishes to speak with you. Axel de Vries can be found in his oh-so-elegant apartments along the Merchant Quarter, along the river bank. I shall meet you there. I have other matters to discuss with him as well. Make whatever preparations you, may or you wish, but do not keep us both waiting for long. You suck at getting me into Black Lake, by the way, Moira. I burnt down a watch outpost for you. Uncool. You couldn't even follow through with your own plan. I am disappointed. And we helped a criminal organization take over the docks. That's okay. It'll be fine. 
we've already stolen everything from that wagon. We have lots of gold. I hope we find a good shop soon that has some decent stuff because we have 42,000 gold. Now that might sound like a lot and it is to some extent, but uh, we're going the wrong way. No, we're not. We're fine. No, we're not. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> There's a wall there. It sounds like a lot of money. When you get the higher or the higher end magical items though, um, it's not as much as it seems. However, for this point of the game, it is a lot of money, considering we're only level 7. Coming back to the city was a mistake, Nishka. You didn't think you'd slip in unnoticed, did you? No. I'm just surprised it took you this long to notice. So who's wasting their money on you this time, Benin? If you got a problem with her, you got a problem with me. That's right, Benin. You... You think I'd come back without some muscle on my side? Well... You thought wrong, and I'm still waiting for an answer. You're too stupid to come here on your own. So who sent you? Leldon's still got a bounty out on you, goat girl. He's even up the price for those horns. Find another bounty. This one won't be easy to collect on. So what'll it be, Benin? Run now, or let me remove that empty head from your neck? Brave talk, girl, but your luck's run out. I'm gonna send you back to the Nine Hells, where your kind belongs. Hey, home is where the heart is. And I'm staying right here in Neverwinter. Oh, there's a fight going on. I guess we should have expected that, really. Well, that was a pretty easy fight. It looks like Leldon's in for more disappointment. That was fun. That's the spirit. A little battle was all we need to get the blood pumping. Almost wish they lasted a little longer. <laughs> so I take it this Leldon's not a friend of yours. <laughs> Leldon still can't admit that he's the second best thief in Neverwinter. He's taken things a little too personally, if you ask me. There's more to it than that if he's trying to kill you. Well, Leldon and I pulled a job about a year ago. Big haul, too. You should have been there. I was brilliant. So we get back to our hideout and start to divide up the loot, and that's when old Leldon demands a bigger share. You didn't think he deserved it? I'm the one who got us past the guards and past the trap at the vault. Leldon was just baggage. He claims he planned it all. Not much of a plan if you don't know the guard patrol routes or that the vault is trapped. If it weren't for me, he would have never have gotten past the front door. So why is he trying to kill you? So anyway, there's Leldon demanding a bigger share, and he's definitely planned this part out. He's hired Benin and his boys as muscle to make sure I agree. Well, the odds weren't in my favor. I'm delicate, you know. So Leldon and I argued for a bit, but I wasn't going to win that one, so I got my tail out of there before Benin got antsy. What's worse is they didn't just take my share. They took everything I had. And I wasn't in much of a position to argue, you know. That was an interesting jump in volume. I think they recorded those pieces at two different times and at different uh, settings on their microphones. Anyways, so they robbed you and now they want to kill you. That seems odd. Oh, well, I couldn't just let things stand as they were. Of course not. I mean, I am the best. Melton's good and he gets lucky sometimes, but he can't hold a torch to me. So I broke back into his place, stole all the loot, every last copper and left a note explaining to him how I got past each one of his traps. I didn't get everything they stole back, especially some of the more precious things. But Leldon probably sold them by now anyway. <laughs> Too bad. And still, I got back way more than my share. And what happened to all the money? Well, you know, a few coins here, a few coins there. It adds up. I have expenses. And stuff. Well, if they attack you again, I will do what I can to protect you. Hey, thanks. You know, letting you team up with me was a really good decision. Wait, what? You actually helped me. Dan, you insult me a lot less than the other people do. Before echoing our leader's pledge, next time it would help if we knew there were people hunting you to begin with. And why, since they seem to have their reasons. Oh, please, don't get all mad. Our leader isn't, and he's the one helping me. You're just tagging along, all right? Anyway, Dude. about this mess. I guess the watch will clean these bodies up. Or maybe there will be a rain or something. <laughs> Let's go. Right then, so we killed some dudes, as we always do. And now it's time to leave the district, I think. Any loot behind us? Nope. 
How's our level looking? Oh, we are so close to a level. Is there no more thugs or something to kill? Actually, there is somebody we can talk to here. Raylene is uh, a merchant. I forgot about her. She's got some pretty good gear, actually. We're going to go take a look at her stuff. How's business for you? We're just going to skip this whole thing. She uh, normally would go through all of this, but uh, it doesn't really matter now because we've already completed the quest. Basically, you can try and blackmail her for protection money, but she just... You know what? We'll read it out. We'll read it out because... Why not? Um, okay, get rid of, oh, we can't get rid of the character thing. Okay, we'll read it all anyways. One second. Okay, we'll go through the whole conversation. <clears throat> Can we just scroll? There we go. Okay. A good evening to you. Would you like to take a look at my wares? And for you, a discount tonight because I like you. And then I say, how business for you? She says, business could be better, but I have no complaints. There's been some interruptions in shipping, but, well... To tell the truth, the Isle of Ratham and the Luskans seem to be getting into things with each other again. Place havoc with the shipping industry, let me tell you. But here, have a look at my goods. I even have a fine, a few fine pieces of silverware from Cormier if you're interested in that sort of thing. And then I replied, the docks is a rough district. I'd hate to see you lose your inventory. She replies, oh, I wouldn't worry. I keep a close eye on everything and lock it up safely at night. Or at night. I appreciate the concern, though. Then I say, you never know, accidents happen. She replies, oh, I'm very careful. I've seen what happens to people when they're careless. I keep things carefully packed and stored when they're not being displayed. No, I mean, I could accidentally break your goods. Ah, oh, yes, that's why I have a policy that I always handle my inventory until a sale is made. Makes things a little inconvenient, but it guards against just such an accident. Um, very foresighted of you. So how would you like to stay in business? Are you looking to invest? I'll have to think on that. I've never worked with a partner before. I do so hate arguments over money. I'm saying it can be rough trying to stay in business without help. I understand. I don't mean to be rude, but I have to think about it before I bring on a partner. Look, I'm saying for a small fee I can guarantee that nothing will happen to your inventory. Why, that's very kind of you. There are probably a lot of businesses that could use such a service. I really don't have much use for it, though. And then I replied, are you really this ignorant? There's really no reason for insults. I'm sorry, but I just don't need whatever it is you're offering. Nishiko replies, if this keeps up, give me a chair. We could be here for hours. Gnomes, don't get me started mutters Kelgar. Please accept this piece of constructive criticism, but you really need to work on your communication skills if you want to be a merchant. And then I replied, I give up. What do you have for sale? Yes. Well, now. And now we're going to see what she has for sale. What do you want? Let's see what she's got. Uh, so she has boots of hardiness. All these boots are actually pretty decent. Ours are better currently. Uh, braces of armor give an armor bonus. Our, our actual armor gives us a bonus as well, so it's not a huge increase and not worth the amount of money it is. That being said, they, she does have a cloak of fortification, and these are actually really nice. They give plus one armor class, deflection, and saving throws plus one universal, so they're actually a really good item to pick up if you need one. We don't particularly need one, but I'm going to buy one for maybe Kelgar or Nish, or maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Let's just save our money for ourselves. Generally, though, they're pretty good to pick up. Uh, and that's not a district exit. Let's go up to the district exit over here. It's to the merchant district, I believe. Where hopefully we'll find some better items to buy. For some of our vast amounts of money. World map transition. And we are going to the... Where are we? There we are. Merchant district. It's down there. Merchant quarter. And now we must wait for the loading screen. Not super exciting, I know. And here we are. Looks like there's some more thugs, which means we're probably gonna gain a level. Hi guys. If I didn't want Oops. to be found, you'd still be stumbling around in the dark, Tremel. Tell Leldon to back off, or I'll be coming for him. So he says that Nishka, it's good to see her again. He's going to beat the crap out of her, basically. We've already gone with this once before for the other thugs Leldon sent. Tremel, walk away and you'll live. Leldon's not just paying me gold for this. He's also bringing me in as his partner. 
just as soon as I bring him your horns. You're doing this to become Leldon's partner? Trust me. I'll be doing you a favor, killing you. Nice. This is getting tiresome. Let's get this over with. Come on, demon girl. Let's see if you're as hard to kill as they say. She might not be, but I am. Tremble's almost dead. The other thug's badly wounded. The other thug's almost dead. We gained a level. Awesome. Let's level up. Leldon's more oh, obsessed shit. than I thought. I wonder how many of his goons will have to carve up before he gets wise. <laughs> that graphic. I think it's time we paid Leldon a visit. I guess you're right. As much as I'm enjoying tweaking his nose, Leldon's getting out of hand. I'm not certain Leldon is the one we need to worry about. <laughs> At least he makes his grievances plain. He'll be ready, though. Since he knows I'm here, he's got to know that I'll be coming for him. After all the trouble he's called us, I'm all for killing him slowly. I don't plan to kill him. This'll be too much fun to ruin it by killing him. I'm going Look, to kill him. Leldon's not going to give up. Trust me, he was my partner. I know him. He's got a soft spot, though. There's this coin of his that he thinks is lucky. He always has it with him on jobs. Couldn't stop playing with it. <laughs> Real annoying. He's probably got it well protected too. So I want to steal it out from under his nose. And what would that accomplish? If theft got you and us in this trouble to begin with, I fail to see how it will solve matters by stealing again. Don't you see? If I can get my hands on that coin, he might give up. After all, Without it, his plans will always fail. At least he thinks so. It would just be easier to kill him. Yeah, and I won't be sorry if it comes to that. Still, it's not as entertaining. I'll take every chance I get to tweak his nose, but I'd prefer to rob him. It's got more style. I don't think it's even a plan. It doesn't even make sense. I'm with her I on this one. I'm better than he is by getting around his guards and traps. He gets worried, loses his nerves, and the attacks stop. What's not to like? I'll tell you what's not to like. Anyone willing to resort to murder over a theft isn't likely to stop because it's done to them a second time. True story. And furthermore, it has nothing to do with why we're here in the city. Not at all. If we want to do something, we should seek out the druid lore masters in Neverwinter Wood, as I suggested. Oh, so is that your problem? That we're not doing what you want to do? Maybe you haven't thought of this, but maybe there's a reason you haven't come across any druids. Have you thought of that? Maybe they're all gone, or in hiding, or they just gave up their duties, kind of like you have by being in this city. I mean, why are you even here? Huh? Why? All right, you two, stop it now. No, she deserves an answer. You are right, of course. I should not be here. But I do not know where else to go, and the only clues as to what may have happened to my circle may lie with those shards. So yes, I do not wish to be in this city. I do not wish to be a burden, but I do not know what else to You're do not a to burden. help. All I can think of is seeking out the druids in case they know what we can do. But I will go along with whatever our leader decides. If we help you, so be it. If not, then I will stand by that decision as well. Well, all right. Maybe I wasn't explaining it well enough. But if we grab that coin from Leldon's stash, well, at least we'll have something to bargain with. He really likes that coin. I'll trust you on this. We'll do it your way. Thanks. And believe me, I know what I'm doing. I've already told you I won't let anything happen to you. Where do we begin? The first step is to figure out where Leldon's hold up. I doubt any of my old contacts will want to talk. Looks like Leldon's got some influence in this district. Oh, Fala would know where he she is, though. She looks terrifying. She knows just about everything that goes on here and in Black Lake. Yeah, she might be able to help us. <laughs> we should go talk to her. Where can we find her? She owns the Moonstone, the Moonstone Mask, Mask yep. here in the Merchant Quarter. It used to be a place for people who, um, needed some privacy. She's cleaned it up quite a bit since the war, though. I kind of preferred it the way it was, though. But hey, <laughs> it's her business. Anyway, she knows about pretty much anything that goes on in the district. Not surprising, considering the kind of place the Moonstone Mask used to be. I'd prefer to torture the information out of Leldon's thugs. But I guess this way is easier, and not as messy. Okay, 
So the reason there was a mesh instead of normal skins for that conversation was because we were in the uh, character level up screen when it kicked in. Anyways, we're going to get a strength. Strength is going to be the only stat we're going to be picking up. We'll grab a tumble. We get plus one armor class for that, finally. And we'll pick up a lore as well. Good enough. We get dragon breath, finally. And now we're at 20 strength. That's pretty good. We're also going to swap back to our shield because we're carrying around some stupid torch from burning down a thing. Ooh, a longsword plus two. And studded leather plus one, as well as a rapier, just a normal one. And we have other people to level up as well, and then we're going to pretty much call it a video because we're almost out of time. So Kelgar is a fighter. He's going to get strength as well. Just as recommended stats because they don't really matter too much. Now, here's the thing. We really need to focus him on a weapon. And the reason is because then we can get improved criticals with also some of those weapons. What do we want him to be carrying though? If we want him to be a big hitter, something like a dwarven great or dar a dwarven war axe would be awesome. Um, we could always go with things like great axe or great sword or scythe. Can he even use scythe? Does he have exotic weapon? Oh, he doesn't. So that would be pointless. We could get improved power attack, but that's not really what we're looking for. We need him to have good attacks. I mean, we could go with the longsword, which we're currently using, which is fine, but maybe we should move into two-handed weapons. He doesn't use a shield. We could use, like, a war axe. Like, a great axe would be kind of nice. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Let's make him a great axe master. We'll find him a good great axe to use. I am listening. We'll give that a shot. It may not be the ideal build for him, but whatever. Who cares? This game isn't particularly hard. Wait a minute. Oh, this is our druid. Okay. I was like, why didn't you go to dexterity? But this isn't Nishka. Give her all her base skills. That's fine. How can I help? You. Next. All your skills. Normal. Good. Sneak attack increased. Nice. No feats, really, except for... Kelgar, who got that one feat, and now needs a great axe, which we'll find for him later. In fact, we could probably go find for him one from now. There's gotta be a... Oh, Deacon's down here, right. I forgot all about Deacon. Deacon, there you are. Deacon is a cobalt from Neverwinter Nights. Horrors of the Underdark, I believe. A customer? Maybe Deacon is pleased to see. A kobold? What in the nine hells is a kobold doing in the streets of Neverwinter? Deacon not mean harm. Deacon, do not, please do not kill Deacon. Deacon, come here in peace. Seek trade. Deacon say that so many times. Deacon tired of it. Sometimes wish people would just attack Deacon with sticks instead of ask. Deacon not go into dwarven caves. Deacon also not blame if dwarves dig out everywhere then tell everyone else to get out. But Deacon gives dwarves many stories. He knows how dwarves get, especially women ones without beards. Are you a merchant? Deacon is a merchant, yes. Confusing to Deacon, but Deacon figure it's alright to sit here and people give him gold to take away heavy stuff. What do you got? He has some damn good stuff. Deacon always has some of the nicest stuff, like a Dragon Disciple rogue. It gives us Bard Sorcerer skills. It's only usable by Dread Dragon Disciples. It's plus two armor, but that being said, it's not particularly great for us because we're not going to be using any of our Sorcerer or Bard spells, really. That's a circuit of blasting. There's a noble's cap, which I believe is just charisma. Yep. Nymph's cloaks, robes of the shining hand. Anyways, weapons, that's what we're here for. What is a lilting note? That is a bow. And it is a plus three bow of mightiness, which is damn nice. It's a, it's a very good bow. But anyways, we can't use it, so why bother? What we may or may want to look into is the Weapon Master Scale Armor, because we're going to be using it eventually. It gives us a bonus feat of Improved Initiative, Improved Knockdown, or Knockdown in general, and it's only usable by a Weapon Master, which we may be using at some day, but we're not currently. So there's really no point in picking it up right now. What's a Finch's Shippo? Oh, Bluff Perform Right, okay. So he has all of these uh, prestige type items. He also has some uh, rings and amulets and stuff. Not a huge amount that we're going to bother taking with us at the moment. We're really looking more for a weapon shop. I'm 
Might keep that longsword plus two around for just a minute. Let's go find ourselves a merchant. Paps is up there. Okay, let's go to Paps. The uh, camera angles, or angles in this game are sometimes a little bit wonky. It's kind of painful sometimes. Paps should be in that stall up there, I think. Right there. I remember a good amount about this particular district, but not all of it. Again, it has been a very, very long time. There's Paps right there. Oh, he does crafting materials. Maybe that's not very useful. What's a cape of, never, or cape of winter? Plus two saving throws and resists cold. Monk's belt, which is actually quite nice. Uh, it's improved critical strike, a weapon specialization. It's only usable by a monk, and you can use haste 10 once per day, which is pretty cool. Forge fire is a light hammer with 1d6 fire damage plus two. Yes. That being said, we can finally sell storm because we're not ever going to use it. So, unfortunately, that isn't the merchant we were looking for. Uh oh. Cutscene. And that's why. Excuse me. As I was. Stop right there, kid. We've got ourselves a thief. I was just running. I run fast. What's this about a thief? Check your coin purse. And don't even think of moving, child. Please, sir. I'm just running. Can I just leave? No. Why, you're right. My coin purse is missing. You're going straight to the watch after you hand over that pouch. What seems to be the problem? This little thief is the problem. It's not safe to walk around anymore. Just last 10 day, I lost 10 gold to one of these scamps. And I'm not about to let this one off, even if she looks so innocent. Turn out your pockets now. Unhand my daughter. Of course. I could tell <laughs> just by looking at you. Why don't you stay out of this? What are you doing to her? She's just a little girl. Have a heart, let her go, you got your money. It's like he said, look at her, we should let her be. Just don't ever do it again, girl. You're getting off lucky. Thanks to right. God you were here. Kids can get treated real bad on the streets. Thank you, I owe you one. Yes you do, kid. Saved your life. Possibly. Something like that anyways. Uh, we need to find a merchant, a better merchant. Maybe Axel has weapons. I can't remember what Axel's is. Is it a tavern or a merchant shop? We'll find out really quick. Oh, we're over time. We're actually going to call it a video here. I'm going to go check around for a weapon shop. If not, I'll go back to the other district and pick up a great axe for our good friend, Kelgar. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Like always, please leave any comments or suggestions below. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.